Okay, from the MD Solids homepage, start by clicking over here on Section Properties. And this is where you enter the dimensions and other properties of the beam or the column or whatever it is you're trying to analyze. So for this example, um, I'm going to use a wood beam. So I'll start with the standard shapes and go down here to wood and I'll select a 2x4. You can select other shapes here. But I'll start with a 2x4 and MD Solids enters the dimensions automatically. If the 2x4 is oriented flat, you would come over here and click on 90 and then rotate like that. So um, you can either do the vertical orientation like that or the horizontal or flat orientation like that. Enter your material uh, modulus of elasticity down here. You can choose Douglas fir and it'll enter 1.8 million PSI as kind of a standard or enter you know whatever value you have to work with. I'll enter 2 million PSI for this example. Click on Compute and this gives you the section properties such as the cross-sectional area here, A, 5.25 inches squared and the moment of inertia, I, at uh, in this case 0.98 inches to the fourth. If my 2x4 was oriented vertically, let me come over here and change that and then hit compute, you can see that my area stays the same but my moment of inertia goes way up over five inches to the fourth which is what you would expect. So I'm going to leave it in the flat position for now. Now click on back and then go to determinate beams because we're going to analyze this as a beam. We want a simply supported beam here which just means it has a support at either end so click there. Um, let's make this 2 by 4 8 feet uh, long. So I'm going to enter 96 inches. Very important to make sure that your units are properly selected here. I want the left support of the beam, in other words this support right here, I want it to be at the far left end and I want the right support which would be this support here located at the far right end. So I'm going to type in 96 and click on enter and this is my load diagram uh, with a pinned, this is what's called a pinned connection at the left end of my beam and this is a roller connection at the right end which is what I want in this case and I haven't loaded it yet. There's no weight on the beam. So I do that over here. I have several choices. I can pick a point load like a person standing on it here or I can pick a uniform type of load of different types down here. But this is the one I want right here. Concentrated load down and I'm going to put the load in the middle of the 2x4 so enter 48 inches. That'll put it right in the middle and let's say 225 pounds. Click on enter. This gives me my shear diagram and moment diagram for this beam and we will cover those later on in the class. For now just click on options and this one called slope deflection diagrams and down at the bottom this gives me a deflection diagram. So this 2x4 beam positioned in the flat orientation with basically a 225 person standing right in the middle will deflect about 2.3 inches in the middle. In other words it'll bend 2.3 inches. So the next question is how much weight will this beam carry before it breaks? Click on options and then design 
uh, select structural lumber here and up here click on allowable stresses and select the type of material which in this case is Douglas fir and MD solids will enter sort of a typical number for the allowable stress click on OK then under the maximum loads tab make sure that one is selected enter the beam length 96 inches and then click on compute so MD solids is telling me that the maximum load I can put on that 2x4 beam in the flat sort of plank orientation is only about 62 pounds so in other words I can't put a 225 pound person in the middle